Rachel, introduce yourself. Where are you from? Uh, my name is Keith Cullen, and I'm from uh, this small little town called Selbridge in County Kildare. And uh, yeah, I uh, I'm very lucky. I get to travel a lot, so I'm not home too often. But uh, it's nice when uh, I do come home. Get to see all my family. Very good. So when did you start out? Um, I started out at a very young age. I've I've always been uh, singing and and writing and doing different things but I didn't really get seriously involved from a, a business perspective until really the last three three four years so when I was younger I used to do a lot of shows and a lot of um, musicals and you know variety shows and I always was getting my voice trained and all of them different things and being creative in any way that I I could um, but yeah the last three years has been uh, such a like a whirlwind in terms of I wrote my album and uh, spent 18 months in the studio and uh, just signed a publishing deal in Los Angeles and, and in London. So I'm very lucky because I get to travel a lot these days. So, um, What is your inspiration? Uh, <clears throat> it's a good question because obviously you can take inspiration from many different things. I think when you're writing, you you get inspired from life circumstances and past experiences and present stuff that you see and you experience and you hear about and you feel um my main inspiration would be you know people and and traveling and and just life in general you know i'm big on living in the present and enjoying every day like it's your last um but i get inspired you know mainly by by people and you know acts of kindness and you know and and on the other side heartbreak and emotional stuff but definitely I'm, I'm most inspired when I'm traveling to nice places and experiencing nice and things. And musically who are you inspired by? Um, I love um, Ryan Tedder from One Republic I think he has the best of both worlds he fronts an incredible an incredible band but also he gets to write for incredible people like mm -hmm. Beyonce or Jordan Sparks and um, he just contributed to Beyonce's new album and he wrote Adele's 21 and co-produced that so uh, I think he has the best of both worlds and I met him when he was in Dublin and you know he's one of these very cool calm collected guys who you know gets inspired by everyday things as well so um, what do you think about mental health in Ireland um, I, I think you know for me growing up and you know and being musical and being creative you know um, I would I would say there's not as big a, a stigma attached to it as there was but I still think we have a hell of a way to go and I think you know people like yourselves and Jigsaw Kerry and Headstrong they're all making steps in the right direction helping people and providing services that people require in this day and age and I think our um, our generations change and so much and obviously social media and all these different things they add different pressures and in, in terms of and whatever business you're in whether it be you're in school or you're in college or you're in the entertainment business or you're in the model business or whatever it is or just normal businesses there's stresses that comes along with that and I think how you deal with them you know adds to where your mental ability is in terms of coping with different situations that present themselves and what do you do to deal with stress or to prevent stress um thank god i have a very good team around me so i'm never allowed to get too far off course but i think things that are very important to me are obviously um i try to exercise as much as i can because that in itself helps me stay focused um I think when you don't do things like, you know, binge drinking or, you know, you eat the proper stuff, it helps you, helps your body to, to make better choices. Um, so I think I have a four year old nephew, so he keeps me very present in terms of, you know, we'll do things together and obviously that in itself helps, you know, put you in the right mood or the, mi the, the right mind frame. But I think it's it's always the little things that, that make the biggest difference. And, you know, um, being in a relaxed state, I think, is important. And obviously enjoying what you're doing, I think, is a big thing. And if you had any advice 
uh, for young people, what would it be? Uh, put down your phones. I think um, everyone in this day and age is so interactive and everything so immediate. You know, obviously for my job, <clears throat> there is a lot of social media involved in terms of Facebook or Twitter or Instagrams or. But that's a part of my job. It's not my life. Do you know, I, I live my life fully in terms of traveling and the people and communication and you know I write songs that can impact people and make a difference and you know I think that's the true nature of being a human being and you know existing is to live a life that's full of the things that you wanted to be full of and I think people get confused with their real life and social media and I think that's where a lot of stresses come from in terms of keeping up the appearances and how many likes did I get today and who defriended me or do you know who said this about this person on social media and I think that's not a real a, a real experience it it is a platform to you know for creative people to be creative and you know interact and socialize but it's not real life you don't go home to Facebook you don't go home to Twitter you don't you go home with your own mind and your own thoughts so I think yeah I think separate that up a little bit and kind of force yourself to do things like when you're eating a meal put down your phone there's nothing worse than socializing with your friends and nobody's talking because they're all on their phones so that would be my my tip for people is be a little bit more present and interact with people thank you very much for coming to you're very to us. welcome thank you so much I'm delighted to announce I will be a judge on the night for the Start to Inspire event. I'm looking forward to seeing all you guys there. My name is Keith Cullen and I love Start to Inspire.